If you are looking for a professional and trustworthy roofing contractor in Bucks County, Montgomery County, Chester County, Burlington, and Mercer County, I am Julie Druzak with Vouch Video and I'm here with Dave from Remodeling Concepts. Tell me about roofing and the things that I should look for when choosing a roofing company. People think that it's just simple. You rip off a roof, you put a new roof on. But there's way more details involved with it than just what you see on the surface. There's the plywood that's underneath, which is your surface of the decking. There's also your step flashing, all your flashings around your chimney, the underlayments that you use, the ridge vent that you use, the ventilation that's being done from the bottom to allow air to intake and exhaust up the top, and then the shingles themselves. What's the importance of having the thickness of the wood under the roofing? Well, as far as the thickness of the wood, if you're putting a roof on there that's guaranteed for 50 years, you want to make sure that the underlayment's going to sustain the same life as the roof. So if we were to put it on top of 3 8 plywood with the snow load and everything else, you're going to start to see a cupping in between the rafters. Dave, tell me a little bit more about the plywood that goes under the roofing. So in this particular roof, they had 3 8 inch plywood. It's all delaminating from itself and it's also very thin and peeling apart. So the plywood that we like to use is a four layer plywood. It's considered a four ply system. This particular piece, as you can feel, is half inch thick, which gives better structure to the roof. So when you say flashing, what does that necessarily mean? As far as the step flashing concerns, it actually goes against the walls of the house and is a transition between the roof and the wall, also around the chimneys and any other penetrations. The flashing is essential around the chimneys and the walls of the house because it helps shed the water where it's supposed to be instead of into the house. A lot of people cut corners here and we just don't believe in that. We do riglets around the chimneys, which is basically cutting into the chimney to allow water to flow off versus doing a back step flashing and just caulking it, which a lot of people do. Just just looking over there, what is that piece of equipment? That is our equipped trailer. As I mentioned, it actually allows us to lift it up to the roof, to rip our roofing directly into it, then that'll actually dump directly into our dumpster. Right now, we're actually using a full of our plywood, so we're cutting our plywood right up at the roof surface rather than passing every sheet up individually so that we can be more efficient. There's so many different types of roofs people can get, so can you tell me about the different types of roofs that you install? We install residential and commercial roofing. We do asphalt roofing, metal roofing, EPDM, TPO, a fully adhered roofing. We're also a platinum contract with Owens Corning. There's about 500 platinum contractors nationwide and we're proud to be part of the network. With that, they do random spot inspections. They have strict standards, which we like the fact that they make us abide by. We give a 50-year labor and materials warranty, not only backed by us, but by the manufacturer. Why is it really important to have proper ventilation and roofing? So ventilation is important to actually keep moisture out of the attic. So homes breathe, it's a constant living structure. So we like to make sure that either the soffits are properly ventilated where we had a smart vent at the bottom of the roof to allow the air to intake and then exhaust out the ridge vent, which is standard on every roof we do, to keep the house properly ventilated so that you don't get mold and mildew on your decking surface. So along with the ventilation, is there anything else we should consider as a consumer? Well, whenever we're looking at a roof project, we always like to get up in the attic to make sure that there is proper insulation. There should be perm vents around the perimeter, which allows the air to breathe so that the insulation is not directly against the roof deck. We also like to make sure you have adequate insulation up there because that's a major place of heat loss throughout a home. Dave, thanks so much for being here today and explaining what Remodeling Concepts is doing for the roofing industry. If you're looking for an Owens Corning Platinum Roofing Contractor in Bucks County, Montgomery County, Chester County, Burlington County, Mercer County, and all surrounding areas. Remodeling Concepts.